Just recently, I posted a video covering what it takes to go from an analog environment to a full digital environment, and mostly involving the snake. There were a lot of great posts with uh, comments, uh, feedback on the topic of the video, so thank you very much for posting. So a few things I noticed in the comments on the video involved having a redundancy and having a UPS. And on the topic of redundancy, not everybody needs a fully redundant system. I just want to make sure that everybody understands that. Uh, many times redundancy is not needed. Now as a sound provider, we like to have as many things redundant as possible. Key components of the system, we need to have redundancy to ensure whatever happens, we can continue to provide a service. So in the video, I reference having a backup stage box and as well as a backup switch. Okay, for most people, having backup equipment like that is probably not needed. But I said, as a sound provider, we, we need to make sure that if something happens, we do have a way to fall back to something else. So in talking about redundancy, what I have here is power supplies. These are external power supplies that we keep for the Allen Heath, our GL2400, as well as our Soundcraft GB8. These power supplies go out on shows with us 100% of the time. So I've never mentioned anything about these redundant power supplies at events, just because they basically sit there in a box, they're on site, we don't have anything plugged in, but if something comes up, we can utilize these power supplies. Okay, for redundancy, we have the Yamaha DS speakers there on the left, and we have our RCF NX45 speakers on the right. No matter what pair of speakers that we take with us to do smaller shows, the other pair goes with us. The other pair usually sits in the trailer or in the van, but it is on site in case something goes wrong. Now, depending upon the show that we do, if we're using an analog board, for example, our Soundcraft GB8, we have the Allen & Heath GL2400 on site as well. The Allen & Heath and the Soundcraft are basically backups to each other. So if one of the boards is being used at an event, the other board is on site just in case something happens. Okay, and the same goes with our digital boards. If we're using the small Presonus 1642, we have the Presonus Series 3 32 channel as a backup. Now, if we do an event where we are using our Presonus Series 3 as the main console, we do have another one on site in case something happens. Okay, now this also includes our amplification. So in the past, when we've had a full rack of QSC, the PLX series amplifiers, only some of those amplifiers are being used. The other ones are merely as a backup. On our updated amplifier rack, the crowns are their backups to each other. But if we end up using both the crown amplifiers, then the QSCs in the rack will become a backup for one of the crowns. Our primary snake is a 32 by 8, 150 foot. Now if something happens and we need a whole complete backup snake, we do have a 100 foot, 24 by 8 available. But if one channel goes bad in the snake, we certainly are not going to replace the whole snake. We'll just move the input to another channel that's working. So we've only had one amplifier failure in probably in the last 15 years, and that was a QSC PLX3402. The power supply failed on it. Uh, it failed during a sound check, which uh, was really no big deal. Uh, all we had to do was move the power, the inputs and outputs, down to the next amplifier, and the show went on. 
So pertaining to the previous video uh, about converting from analog to digital and snake setup, there were a lot of good observations and comments about running UPSs, you know, in front of house. And I did reference running UPSs on digital uh, stage boxes. So hopefully uh, in this video, I can maybe answer or address some of those questions and comments. So first of all, we are not using a UPS to keep the show going. Currently, we only use a UPS at front of house to protect the console and outboard from power related issues. Now, digital consoles, like a lot of the outboard gear, like speaker management systems, these things are computers and they can be very sensitive to power fluctuations. So, I mean, the fluctuations don't need to be too drastic to cause issues, but they can cause some problems. So for many digital consoles, uh, as they're used during a show, the software that's in them is making changes to the console or to the session that you're using, you know, like EQ and gate compression. You could also be recording a show. So the console's always busy doing something while you're using it. Now, if a complete power failure were to occur, let's say with no UPS on it, the immediate cease of power could potentially present corruption to the software or firmware on the console. And really, if you, you, are, if you are recording, at the same time, you could potentially lose a whole recording session. So the worst case for power issues is when the power like completely drops for a moment and then it comes back and it drops again and it does that a bunch of times within a very uh, few seconds of time. This is the kind of power cycling that really causes problems with power supplies and computers. So there's three reasons why we use a UPS and this is just what what we use them for. Now, you know, other people may use them for other reasons. But for us, number one, it provides some security for the console and any attached outboard from potential like brownouts and a power cycling, as well as complete failures that could cause hardware or firmware issues. What we're trying to do with the UPS is avoid hardware issues related to power issues. So second reason, is it provides us, let's say it's during a complete power outage, we can safely shut down the console and any outboard. So if we're doing something with the console, we're recording, we can close a recording session and then shut the console down. And number three, it is cheap insurance for protecting sensitive gear. Can't stress that enough. It really is, it's very cheap insurance that you can keep your equipment protected. In that previous video, I did reference the need to have a UPS on a digital stage boxes. And the reason is because the stage boxes are computers. And the UPS on there would be primarily, just like it would be on a digital console, to protect them from power related issues. Now, this is something that we would do as a provider and certainly no one's really required to put UPSs on stage boxes, but it does protect them. And having these things on UPSs, if you know an outage may be short, you can wait knowing that your front house console and your stage boxes are still communicating, just waiting on power to be restored. And as well, you'll know that your equipment was protected during that power outage. Now, if you know the power outage is going to be a long time, you can take the time to shut everything down in an orderly manner and save things. Keep these three things in mind when you are thinking about a UPS. If you are setting up your sound system in a new location and you have no idea if there are power related issues, it's recommended to use a UPS on your console and probably your outboard. Metering the power when you first visit a site is one thing, but when the site becomes loaded with other equipment and other things going on during a show, the power situation could change. So to protect your equipment at new locations, it is a good idea to use a UPS. Okay, and then number two, this really is the most important thing to know. A power outage as at an event could just be the front of house circuit you're using, or it could be the circuit the stage boxes are on. Maybe they're on the same circuit. So a power outage does not necessarily mean that's a full complete outage. Maybe there was a trip circuit breaker or somebody could have accidentally unplugged a power cord by tripping over it. The key point to know here is not all power outages are whole or complete. And number three, your PDU, if you're using one, could trip on itself, causing an outage 
just on your front of house gear. Now PDUs don't trip that often, but it is very possible that something in the circuit that your PDU is connected to could present something which may cause the PDU to trip. Now if the PDU does go down, an abrupt shutdown of front of house will probably send a huge pop through your PA and resulting in possible speaker damage. Okay, so remember that key point number two was not all power outages are complete and whole. A power outage can be on a circuit and it could easily be the one attached to front house or even to the stage. Okay, I hope this provides some clarity on what I mentioned uh, with the need of UPS on front of house and potentially stage boxes. It's important to protect sensitive equipment. Hope this helps and thanks for watching.